Proverbs chapter 2 verses 1 to 5. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures. The search for wisdom deserves some passion, some eagerness, some anticipation. It's not to be like filling in a tax return or even reading your favourite author. It's to be like searching for hidden treasure. Now, when I was a child, my mum would give me a coin, usually a half a crown, big silver coin, to go and do the shopping. And on the way, I often used to throw it into the grass and pretend I'd lost it and then I'd find it. And it always gave me an excited thrill in my heart to just see that silver coin buried in the grass. Now in John chapter four, a Samaritan woman found treasure and she knew it. She'd found Jesus, she'd found wisdom at the well. So she left her water pot in her excitement and ran back to her village and told her neighbours. And she said this, she said, come and see a man who told me everything that I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Now, Jesus had only told her that she had had five husbands and that the man she was living with present at the present moment was not her husband. You see, she exaggerated, but that's how finding treasure affects us. It inebriates us excites us it thrills us we become like little children and why not finding jesus finding wisdom is better than finding silver one other thing when we search for something we entertain high hopes of finding it i wouldn't dig up my back garden on a whim hoping to find treasure but if somebody assured me that my property was built over a Saxon king's hall and that somebody had put a metal detector out there and found some metal buried in the ground, I might dig with some enthusiasm. In fact, I would dig with excitement and anticipation. Now that's how we should look for wisdom wherever we go. A good way of doing this is watch the way that other people do things, the way they deal with life. It's amazing what you can learn from other people both believers and unbelievers. And occasionally, it's a good idea to tell them what a benefit they've been to you. Seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures everywhere.